Hello everybody, I'm Rob here. And uh, today we're going to talk about our plans. So our plans for what we're going to be doing. Well, first off, we're going to have to decide what we're going to be doing to start. Now the whole plan is to create a nice village. But we want a kind of a centralized location to start off with, right? So, as you guys saw in some of my rendered videos from before, we started with a stream, which is pretty much what I'm going to be continuing on at this moment. I'm going to switch you back to green. Um, to kind of give a central spot to our, our village here. What I want to do is I actually want to do a nice wide river. So the river is going to be four... Eight, not about 12 wide, give or take. Now, my plan is, fingers crossed, to make this river kind of meander through... It's going to kind of go through either the west side of town or the east side of town. We've got to kind of figure that out. But the plan is to make about three block, three of these, what we're going to call modules. Um, this one, there's going to be one beside it, and then one right after that. And with that, we're going to design our little area that's going to be leading up to um to the main to the first main street so what i want to do is i kind of want to give kind of our little town a bit of a border first because i don't want to go too too overboard so what we're going to do firstly um is discuss what we have in front of us here so this is it's basically a modular landscape system that someone created where it's just a basic 32 by 32 base plate with some blocks on it for support and all that stuff on top. But, honestly, I don't know that much about it, and I have found that this is actually a very good way of learning how to modify, how, how to make your own terrain. So I will be the first one to admit I am not the best when it comes to this. By far. By far. But this will give us Pretty much our first stages of what we want to build. Now we're not going to make everything pretty off the bat. Um, the plan here is to make things look how we want them to. So what we're going to do first obviously is blue. And this is where we're going to put our first road piece. Right down the middle here. You'll notice that I have some Technic blocks here. You'll see what those are for in a little bit. And we want some plates. Um... First off, I want to kind of go right down the center where the water is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this piece here because I know for a fact... Did I get a flat one or did I get one with... No, I got one with nubs. So we want the water to go directly down through the middle. I need a six by four by eight. Boom. So we know water is going to go straight through here now what we want to do is obviously not make it straight right you don't want it to look too good so what i think we're going to do here i like using the two by twos as an idea and my right arrow button and basically just start by making something like this This is going to set up our border on this side. Huh. Now, I am not by no means the best. What just happened? That was weird. Anyway, so we're going to put you in that spot. Good. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Do we have a 1 by 12 or do we have... No, we got a 1 by 10. Later on, the plan is going to be basically to order all the parts we need. 
Now, obviously, these things won't look exactly as is, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll look close. Now, I'm already noticing that this is going to be a problem, and that black spot there is going to be a problem. So I'm going to remove that one for now. I want at least one solid green part there. So I'm going to switch over to green real quick. I go like that only because you'll be able to see it so that kind of gives me an idea of where where things are going most people usually outline where they're going to go first like where they want their outline to be with the white but uh yeah, i'm not people um Did I just put that? Yeah, I just put that one on top of that one. Boop. Now I want the river to have some sort of contouring. So we're going to be putting a border of white around it when we're done. And there's the furnace. So there is the left side, a little bit more smoother. So I'm going to go in here and just kind of change it up a little bit. I think that should be okay. Then we're going to fill in the gaps. I'm happy with this. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in. We're going to kind of border this in white using white planks. Let's start with white white twos every now and then you can use a bigger one like actually I'm going to use a white four here white three there Now, you're not going to end up seeing all of these pieces, but in my mind, it's just a good way of kind of getting things positioned and to add texture to your water when you're done. Sorry, because I want to add texture to the water when I'm done. Okay, so we're going to fill those spots in for sure. Okay. Looks good. Let's go to the other side here. Hmm. I will be able to add texture to that way to this side a little a little differently a little bit of flatness isn't gonna kill us Now I want at least two layers of white there, so that'll be good. What I'm going to do now is switch over to green, and we're going to do a bit of a line of green pieces there. Oh, 
looks good. I'm actually going to come to this side real quick and actually tweak that as well. Now, one of the good things about this is it's all about how you feel and what you think is good. So I might be able to build something and have it look good to me, but you me completely and utterly disagree, which is totally cool. There we go. I use these for more of a just a solidifying things. Oh, and then we missed some spots over here. I like how you can have your favorites or your used colors over there. Put two there and then one there. See, I'm not building these with the cost per part idea in here we just want to make some make something that looks good get a general idea of where things are going to go so now what i like to do here is using uh two by threes for most of this part This will give us a bit of a nice look. Now, what you can do is make this a lot deeper and put things in there and then wrap it up in glass, uh, in, uh, in, um, the, the tiles, which we're going to be using momentarily. Do two there. And that's one kind of a gentle slope going up just for now until, you know, ideas have been procured. I'm going to leave those two. On this side. Hmm. Also got to think about which direction the water might be coming from as well. I'll have to think of that because later on that'll be when we try to finalize things, make things look a little bit better. There we go. Okay, I think that looks pretty good for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our 2x10s here, or 12. Two two by twelves. Or sorry, one by sorry, one by tens, sorry. And go like that, like that, like that. Now one of the cool things about this program is you can actually set it to do certain things as you go. So that's kind of cool. There we go. So that's our first piece, quote unquote, of river. Now, I'm not going to be doing much with it as of yet. The plan is long term, you know, just to kind of get the idea down. So what we're going to do is we're going to do in the next episode, we're going to do another one of these modules. Um, we're actually going to file, we're going to save as village.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new one. Say file, uh, open recent, mills base. And then all we got to do is basically highlight, control C, come over here, control V it. And that's it. Uh, we got uh, snapping on. And it should be able to snap for us. No problem. What you want to do though, to be honest, to get these things to kind of connect, I believe it's called a pin. Yep, rare. Technic pins. You want to select see two of them right there. Then all you do is you slide these right in. So get it. And just go kabunk. And there you go. And you can move on to your next part. So anyways, thanks for watching everybody. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.